is how to play the game! That is an epic fucking intro, dude. And I have to warn everyone. Warning. What you may see right now is going to be absolutely disgusting. Sound good? All right. That's sounds good to me. Because I said last night was a super busy night for me. Um <clears throat> Last night I seriously had so much work to do. And I entered my office. Here we go. I got it all set up now. Good. I entered my office at, um, shit, I'm trying to think, actually, what time I actually entered my office to work, I think it was, like, 6, 6.30, and I didn't get out of here till, like, <laughs> no lie, till, like, 10.30. <gasps> oh, my God! So I did, like, four straight hours of the most boring fucking stuff possible. <laughs> it stinks. I love streaming, you guys know that. You know, my, my forte here is playing games and interacting with you guys and having fun. I, I'm really good at improv style observational commentary. That's my forte. That's always been what I'm good at. You know, I'm a simple guy. I'm a gamer. I'm not a techie. I'm not a fucking guy that knows all the ins and outs of this shit. You're like talking to a, a lay person. You're talking to a gamer. You're not talking to an editor. You're not talking to a PC you know, builder. You're not talking to a techie guy. You're talking to a guy who just wants to sit down, press record, play a game and have fun, right? I'm being real honest with everyone. Just making an edited YouTube video is very easy. Doing live improv reactionary commentary is tough. The hard shit is sitting here playing the raw games. That's the hard part. Streaming is way harder than just editing videos for YouTube, okay? It is. Real talk. Not sitting here and doing all this crappy shit in my office all night. Boring as hell. I mean, just to give you an idea of some of the stuff I did last night. I had to send all my patrons from the month of December PMs on the website patreon.com so they would know what they need to do to get their uh, pledges, or to get their uh, perks, excuse me, for their pledges. I had to make the new Patreon thank you crawl, which is what you guys just saw on stream, and we're going to go through that in a bit. Um, I had to pay a bunch of bills. I had to set up my new calendar on my office wall. I, I posted it up and populated it with most of the new releases coming out for the first, uh, you know, half of the year that I'm interested in playing. And it's kind of interesting. Um, you know, there's entire weeks of nothing, and then there's weeks where there's, like, insane amounts of games. So we'll see how that goes. <clears throat> then, I had to work on my taxes and my finances. And this pretty much was, oh, man, the biggest downer. Because the worst thing about it is, you know, looking and saying, well, you know, last year was a good year when it came to streaming. Last year was a good year when it came to uh, people contributing. But... Now I gotta look at the future and what's going on with YouTube, which is declining hugely. You know, sadly, what I have to say about that is, YouTube just sucks at this point. Ow! Why'd you do that? Why did you do that? Why'd you just go to bite mommy? Wow. Alright, so you see what pigs can do. Like, there's... As you guys know, I don't focus on it, which is a good thing I don't. Um... But, it's just, it's sad because I look at it and it's like, so my views are consistent. No! Views, views, views. I don't want to be Mr. Views. So there's a guy, his name is Mr. Views. Years ago, I used to say, I don't want to be Mr. Views. I don't want to be all about the views. But in, in reality, a lot of the things on YouTube used to be about the views. Everything's consistent on YouTube. And you guys remember that... <clears throat> Back in the summer, I made a huge positive change, right, when it came to my YouTube channel, DSP Gaming. I made all my videos much, much longer, okay? Um, you know, my videos used to be 10 to 15 minutes long, and I increased them to length of about an hour. So I went in one day from uploading like 15 to 30 videos to like four, okay? And overwhelmingly, the feedback that I've received from all of you, the viewers, is this is great. We love it. Less, inbo less inbox spam. Uh, my sub count is up which is great on YouTube, but I hate to say it, um, it's completely backfired and devastated myself financially. Um, 
I'm now making, since I've instituted these changes, I want to say maybe half, maybe slightly more than half of what I used to make on YouTube a month. Um, and of course, the thing is, there's no way, way to fix that. You know what I mean? I was yelling and screaming and saying, it's all your fault and you gotta, you know, send me freaking, you know, funds and stuff. It was just me saying, you want videos on YouTube? Pledge to Patreon. There's no way that I can say, oh, I'm gonna go back now to shorter videos. It's just not, that wouldn't work. I know that. Once you make a major change, like going from short videos to longer videos and everyone's used to it, there's no going back. Um, so it was kind of an all-in kind of a deal that I did in the summer last year. And I was hoping for the best. What I was honestly hoping was over the hardcore gaming season, people would now come back to the channel and say, wow, this is, you know, I haven't followed Phil in years because of the spam, but now he's finally changed for the better and will subscribe and watch the videos and all this stuff. I know that YouTube is a sinking ship. There's no way I could get DSP Gaming to grow. It's done. Even if I were to change the formula of what I do on DSP Gaming to be longer videos, edited videos, nothing's going to work. Okay. Um, and basically, you know, it's to the point where... Uh, I have to, I obviously have to try to be focused on the positive. Twitch is way up, you know? Twitch is way up and good. And it has been, and you know, it's, it's continuing to be good. But the fact of the matter is that behind the scenes, things are eroding financially for me when it comes to YouTube, and it's just hurting me, you know? What people ask, why does it feel that things are so tight for you? And the answer is because YouTube is falling apart. Uh, my revenue on YouTube this hardcore gaming season, where normally it would be way up, remained pretty much... Uh, the same as it always was, and in fact, now it's gone down. Because now for January, all that ad revenue for the holiday season is gone. <clears throat> and I am not even kidding you. I can be very honest with you about this. I'm probably making about $20 a day on YouTube. At this point, I don't even care. Like, I have so much money. Why would I even give a shit? I have $156,000 in the bank. Why do I care about losing five grand more? Even though my views are consistent, and even though I'm putting out content people are watching, I'm making $20 a day on YouTube. Okay? Um, pretty bad. And there's not much that can be done about that. You know, I, I, I made the change, and there's no going back. So, what I need to do is focus on the positive. I need to focus on... I have $15,000 on me, by the way. I should probably do something about that. Just saying. Um, being here for you guys and putting out great streams and hoping for the best. Hoping that this year in 2019, that the streams will get more viewership, the streams will get more contributions, it'll make up... Um, <clears throat> for the fact that YouTube is making me nothing, you know? I mean, honestly, $20 a day is not enough to, uh, pay the bills, you know? And I'm very nervous now about the future. Ayúdame, por favor. Es muy importante. I need to raise a lot of money this month. I need th that money. I really do. I need that money to pay my bills. Because if YouTube is going to be this down, um, I don't know how I'm going to make up for it. Ugh, McDonald's. You know? Now, the bottom line is, YouTube fluctuates all the time. Okay? All the time. And it's just, it's silly because at this point, I know that YouTube will come back when it comes to profitability. Probably, I'd say, around April, May. Typically, what I see is YouTube usually now at the beginning of the year is that YouTube is way, way, way down. Always. January, February. But then it comes back a little bit more later on in the year. Uh, I don't know. At this point, I don't even know anymore. I really don't. I can tell you right now, this is the lowest I've ever seen on YouTube, um, ever. In the history that I've ever done YouTube, um, and monetized videos, $20 a day is the, le the least I've ever made. And that's what I'm making right now. Um, so I'm pretty much solely relying on your guys' contributions now, during the streams, to keep stuff afloat. Alright, um... Give me your money. Give me money, money! Give me, give me, give me. Milk that fucking gravy train for as much money as you possibly can. Milk and honey, I like to say. The bottom line is, I gotta keep paying my bills. You guys already know I'm in a tight financial position right now. Because of everything that happened over the fall. And, you know, the week that I couldn't work in December because I was so sick. <clears throat> and I'll be honest, if this were the ideal world in the ideal state, um, I, I wish I could have even taken more time off because I had to come back as soon as I could. And my throat is all screwed up. You can hear I have to clearing my throat and choking and everything. Um, my throat isn't 100%, and I don't think it's ever going to get 100% because I just have to keep working. You know, I have to. I can't be away from streaming for so long since it's really my only source of income at this point. Remember I used to do the Ric, F Ric Flair woos? Here's what it sounds like now. Woo! 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 Motherfuck! Motherfucker! Let's hear it. I can't do it anymore. My throat's so fucked up. So that being said, uh, what I've done, as you guys can see, I've instituted a tips goal. 
And what I'm going to hope is that having a tips goal on every stream is going to motivate people to contribute. Oh no! What a greedy bastard. You know how rude it is to ask people about money? You should not ask about fucking money. Now, that tip goal will be a running goal for each day. I just want to make that clear. It's not, oh, a tip's goal for, a, 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 you know, per stream. No, it's going to be every day. There'll be a tip's goal. Holy fucking shit. Relax. Some people just can't control themselves. And we hope to reach it, okay? Um, not saying that we absolutely are going to, because, I mean, I'm going to be very honest with you. Um, I hope that, like, this will motivate people to contribute, but at the same time, I don't know if it will, and I don't know how much of a, an impact it's going to have. But I'm very nervous. Uh, you know, I need to pay my bills this month. And then I get paid on the 15th, and then I have to pay my state taxes for the year, which is going to empty out my bank account. Um, and then I have to pay all my bills again next month. Then I finally get paid in February, which will be a big boon for me because of Emerald 7's gifted subs a couple months ago. <clears throat> and then basically I have to raise enough money between then and April to pay my federal taxes. And I don't know what's going to happen. By the way, hint, hint, sell the house. I basically need help, all right, you know, and... I'm hoping that putting up a tips goal every day will motivate people to tip me. I may be I may be living month to month, paycheck to paycheck, begging for fucking tips and shit on stream for the rest of my life. I enjoy what I do for a living. I do. I was going to do this at the end of December anyway <clears throat> for kind of the Christmas events. And then I got sick and there were no Christmas events, right? And the honest troll, you are, even though you're factually correct, that's just not really a true representation. He says, but your views on YouTube have gone down. You used to get 1 million views a month. Now you don't. Uh, that's because I didn't upload for a week. <laughs> Fuck you. You're a liar. <clears throat> you gotta remember, the month of December, I do, I do get a million views on YouTube every month. Then in the month of December, for an entire final week of the month, I didn't upload anything. I was sick Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Wednesday, I uploaded two videos. Thursday, Friday, Saturday, you know. <clears throat> So for an entire week, I didn't upload any videos, and the viewers went away. And then it's actually tough to get people back once you have a week with no new content. It's tough to get people back, so that's what happened. That's why in December things were down, but that was an extenuating circumstance. If you actually look over the course of, you know, since I changed um, from shorter videos to longer videos, I'm still pretty much getting around, uh, roughly around a million views. Wrong! Wrong, 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 wrong. Wrong, 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 wrong. You're wrong. Okay. And even though it has declined because of the longer videos, that was expected. <clears throat> if you actually take a look at things such as um, engagement, like how long people watch and the amount people watch, it's the same. So this is what I'm being told is from YouTube analytics. The same people who used to be around to watch the videos when they were shorter are still watching the videos now that they're longer. Nothing's changed. Overall views are down, but that's because I'm uploading way less videos a day. Of course views are going to be down. People are watching uh, longer. And so it makes the views less, but according to YouTube's criteria for quality views, apparently it's going up. The problem is YouTube ad revenue is shit, you know? <clears throat> and with YouTube revenue being shit, I can't fix that, you know? I can't. It wouldn't matter. <laughs> so anyway, guys, you know, I'm beating around the bush here. The bottom line is, I need your help. Help! Save the pig! <laughs> what the heck? A pig with a party hat! <laughs> Hello, Mr. Piggy. Ziggy Piggy. Save the pig, the game. The whole game you're trying to save the pig's life. Hell! Alright. Just being. Uh, very frank here. Um, if I'm going to move forward, I'm going to continue to do this for a living, which I want to do. I've done it for over, you know, I've done it as a hobby and, you know, and then as a living for over 10 years. I've done it as for a living since 2011. And you guys give me overwhelmingly positive feedback that, um, overwhelmingly positive feedback that what I'm doing is good. You know, what I'm doing is good. You want to see this quality of content continue. You like how chill the streams are now. You want to see this hat continue, then I need your help. Problems in the back of my head about money, 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 money. It's a money pit. Let the green roll in. Oh, let the money roll in. I got the blackmail stash. Taking all your money. Steal the money stash. Give me the money. Oh, more money. Stealing all his money. This whole office is full of money. It's that simple. Um, you know, I can't, I, I, I cannot rely on any income really from YouTube anymore. Making $20 a day is not going to cut it. With the same views, the same engagement, the same everything, you know, $20 a day. 
ridiculous. Like, I mean, talk about greed and talk about not caring about your customer base. It's ridiculous. It really is. It's, it's gross. It's for this. It's not because they love what they're doing. It's not because for the love of the game or because they're true gamers. It's for this. And this is what it's become. It's not about putting out a quality review. It's not about putting out a quality playthrough or quality stream. It's about making this. In reality, the reality right now is it doesn't look too good. You know, that yesterday, last night, I kind of had a shell shock. Looking at my finances, I was like, this really sucks. Um, you know, in comparison to what I used to be able to rely on, this is not looking good. <laughs> yeah, I'm, what I'm hoping is we can at least make some headway with these tips every day. Now that I have a tips goal, because if it adds up, I mean, just to give you guys some, an example, you know, in the next week, if I can raise like a thousand bucks, it would be amazing. That would help tremendously with my bills and everything, in particular with the state taxes that I have to pay by the end of this month. It would be like a huge, huge help. And that's why I kind of did this to try to hopefully motivate people to contribute who maybe normally wouldn't. I don't know. People have been asking me to do this for a while. I said, put a tips goal up because everyone does it. I'm like, okay, well... I guess we'll have to, because I need the help, right? And immediately you get a dickhead like ITG Jake. I'm going to read it because I've had enough and he's permanently banned now. Do you want us to give you money to see your parents? Fuck you, Jake. How about that? Fuck you. No, because you don't wait, wait five seconds to let me finish what I'm saying. Now not only are you permanently banned, but now we all get to laugh at you publicly for being an insensitive piece of fucking shit. When I'm bearing my heart to the fucking stream, go fuck yourself. No, I'm not asking anyone for money to go to Connecticut to see my parents. In fact, it's the actual complete polar opposite situation. I and Kat will be paying none of this trip if and when it happens. We're hoping it will happen. Um, I already talked to my parents. They said, we're going to take care of it. We understand your financial situation. We couldn't ask for you to pay uh, for any of this stuff. I also read this, I received a $7 troll tip from an asshole. So thank you, asshole, for the tip. That does count towards the, t the tip's goal. However, uh, I'm not going to read your message because you're an insulting prick. So there you go. I took anger management classes. It wasn't actually a joke. That's why I haven't been negative. Oh. Oh. Oh, yeah. So if you guys haven't noticed, I'm not, I haven't been drinking caffeine in days. What I've been trying to do is wean myself off of caffeine. So I completely stopped drinking the kickstarts. I've been drinking seltzer water instead. The problem here is my body isn't used to not having caffeine in it. So I've actually been ended up being like sleepy and stuff a lot more recently because I'm not drinking the caffeine. It's going to probably take, I would think, to wean myself off the caffeine would probably take a couple weeks, you know, to get it out of my system so that my body isn't naturally expecting the caffeine um, <clears throat> to operate. And this is good because if I do get myself off of caffeine, whenever I do actually need it, like I'm really tired, I have a marathon going on, I can easily go drink a cup of coffee or pot, then drink a, a kickstart, and then it'll actually give me a boost. You know what I mean? Um, the problem is I've been drinking a kickstart a day, you know, every day for like two years. It's incredibly disturbing. It's one of the most unhealthy things I've ever seen. It's an abomination to man. And basically, my body is so used to this raving, running on caffeine through the veins. Like, rah, 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 so now it's not in there. <clears throat> and now it's kind of like, rah, 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 gotta wake up, gotta wake up. So. Apologies for that. I'm doing my best, okay? Uh, Tomadu, you should shut up. I'm serious, because he's been spamming the stream chat about, how close are you to reaching your funding goal? How close are you? There is no funding goal. In addition to my normal income, I need to raise about another roughly $16,000 between now and April. I don't even know what I owe for taxes. I won't know until my taxes are done, which will probably not going to be for another two months, if not longer. So you just need to stop with the spamming, okay? Seriously, like, if you do it again, I'm going to ban you for stream chat. All right? Just stop it. This is not working. You guys may notice that tonight we got a tips total. Uh, earlier today, I had a tips goal on my first stream during Delta Rune, and I didn't expect to hit it, but I exceeded it. So thank you very much. I'm going to be doing tip goals every day that I'm streaming from now, basically until I, I get paid. Uh, from Twitch, and the, the, the money concern isn't that big of a deal anymore, but right now, for the next week, stuff is really tight. So I'm just going to keep doing it. It seemed to work earlier today. It motivated people to, you know, tip me, so I'm very appreciative of that. I got the blackmail stash. I did it! I did it! Victory! Victory, baby! Victory!
Good shit. The money is mine, and I want the money. All those funds are going direct to bills, and I'm basically funneling all money that comes in via tips to bills, 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 to pay everything and make sure that I don't overdraft this month and to make sure that I can afford my state business and occupation taxes later this month. But, you know, it's just a pain because I don't get paid by Twitch until the 15th, and I'm, like, counting every penny. I'm like, damn, is there enough? Is there enough? Sorry, I don't need your quarters. So, first of all, there was a tip during the, the break. It was a $6 tip from an anonymous tipper, and they said the following. Phil, I used to be a detractor, but I decided I don't want to be a detractor anymore. What? Because I don't want to participate in ruining someone's life, and I feel bad, so I apologize. I've been watching since 2008 and 2009. Thank you for everything, and goodbye. Well, thank you very much, whoever this was. That is really refreshing, and thank you for the support. Um, You know, in particular, <clears throat> when these people who want to ruin my life realize that there's really nothing they can do but uh, outside of every once in a while... Screwing me over whether you know, I can't get a sponsorship opportunity, getting me kicked out of the fucking partnership program with Curse, etc. You know, they do have ways they can screw with me. But then, when they realize that those things have dried up and run out, then they go in and they attack people who have absolutely nothing to do with myself or my content, like my girlfriend. Actually, I'm pretty confused right now. It dick. can't be. There's no way. Or my family. And they do it not because they think that, oh, this will get Phil. Just because they're, they're nasty, disgusting people. They're toxic, very, very sick individuals. Yep, I'm toxic. And they'll stop at nothing to hurt me and or others, you know, who have any kind of involvement with me for no reason. They're just nuts, okay? So... Apologies to anyone who recently maybe have been attending my streams and you see people coming by saying really insulting things about my girlfriend and other people. It's fucked up. And they're doing it on purpose to try to get a rise out of you. They know that I'm not going to derail a stream. They're actually trying to get a rise out of you. They're like, gee, if I can say the most ridiculous extreme thing about Phil's girl, right, you know, what, will it get a rise out of the stream? Will it get people to say, oh my god, shocking. They're doing it on purpose. So please, guys, if you are watching the streams, um, and... You know, you're enjoying yourselves. Please do your best to separate that from the actual content on the stream. Apologies that we can't do everything to stop every asshole that comes into the stream and does stupid, nasty shit. You know, the mods try, I try, but it's impossible. By the way, guys, um, so this tip total is great. I want to say thank you guys very much. I'm a little nervous, though, because earlier today, two of the big tips that came through were from someone who was trolling and saying insulting things about me. So this person will more than likely try to charge them back, meaning lie to PayPal, and say that either I didn't deliver on a good or service, which is not guaranteed via tipping whatsoever, or they'll say that their credit card was stolen. So, as nice as it is, uh, no guarantee I'm gonna get those funds. So, just so you know, that's what you're at. Gee, why is Phil's tips total so big today? Because some troll came in and did two really big tips, that's why. And chances are, I, I almost guarantee you they're gonna try to charge them back. I hope not. And obviously, I hope that I win those disputes if they arise, but for now, thank you for all your support today. Poopster Cheers says, given the level of terrible insults thrown your way, I'm incredibly impressed by the way you handle it. I just don't listen to it. It's so fucking stupid, the stuff that's said. Like, there's no point anymore. It'd be one thing if there was like, oh, Phil was really bad at something and we criticize him all the time to improve and he doesn't. That's, that's one thing. But it's not even anymore. The things that are being said, these personal insults towards myself, my family, and my girlfriend, have nothing to do with the content of the streams, have nothing to do with self-improvement. This is people trying to literally just bring stuff out of left field that has nothing whatsoever to do with this stuff just to insult, okay? And I'm not playing that shit. I'm not. I'm not going to fucking talk about it. I'm not going to acknowledge it. I'm just going to say, ban those fucks and move on positively. Because the bottom line is, you guys are here to see me play a fun game. You're not here to hear me rant about some troll, you know, insulting myself or my girl or my parents or whatever. You know, you're not here for that. So, I'm not going to let the streams be completely, you know, derailed by their complete stupid toxic bullshit. That has nothing to fucking do with anything. That's like saying, that's like saying, you know, someone, you know, let's bring up something that has nothing to do with something, you know, 10 fucking years in the past or longer... And might not even be true, all right? But let's just dig shit up. Like, let's find something about me before I ever made anything on the internet of random forum posts. By the way, people did this. They went back and tried to find ram random forum posts from me like 15 years ago. Probably some night when I was drunk and typing on a random fucking forum on the internet. Did you see what Phil said on this forum 15 years ago? What? Like, are you a fucking idiot? 15 years ago? You think it has anything to do with the present day? That's what these idiots do now. Over 1,800 milligrams of sodium. This is one of the saltiest things. Can we scour the internet? <laughs> it's like, what are you talking about? So anyway, that's the point. You don't care about that. I don't care about that. Nobody does. It has nothing to do with anything. 
So ignore all that stupid shit. Let's have some fun with Minecraft tonight. Okay, everybody? Time to fucking skewer that pig. That's right. Time to skewer the pig. Skin the little piggy, piggy, piggy. We're gonna get some nice pork belly bacon today. How about some back fat stew and roman on face? I said a delicious skewing all over the place. What pasta do you prefer? I prefer a penne. Oh! Easy to eat. Oh! Phil's a faggot. Phil's fat. Phil's a loser. Phil's a beggar. Phil's a racist. Phil's a scammer. DSP is a pedophile. DSP is a thief. DSP is a greedy fuck. This guy's a bitch. I have a micro penis. <laughs> Alright, I'm not dead, but I swear to god I wish I fucking was.